Look, I can understand the Burnleys and Newcastles of the world rotating because they don't have the biggest squads. And what they've rotated, specifically Newcastle, is their creative talent. They've taken St Maximum, they've taken Willock, and they've taken Callum Wilson out of the lineup. And when you take those three out of the lineup, you lose probably the ability to score goals. So it's no surprise to me that Newcastle didn't make, land any blows on Burnley in their cup tie. Yeah. Um, what, what Burnley are rotating. I mean, I think what they're doing is looking at their creative players and going, OK, we want our creative players to be as fit and fresh for the Premier League as possible. The EFL is a nice cup, but it isn't that important to us. So we'll rotate, give people a run out and keep the guys that are ultimately the guys that are going to get us up the league, out of trouble at the business end of the season, whether that's game three or game 38, yeah. as fit as possible. When you go to West Bromwich Albion, well, you find it difficult to justify why championship subscribers should be rotating mm. and give Arsenal the benefit of a bit of a lift. Yeah. Because they I'm, needed it. We're only three games in. That's that's the thing that amazes me. And I would have thought Even, managers like Steve Bruce and Dyche, they, they want to know more about what they've got at their disposal. See, you're asking the wrong person, right? So if we had the players' liaison office in here, a.k.a. Martin Keown... Right? he'd be telling us this is entirely appropriate because they need a little rest after Player having welfare. a couple of weeks of trip. There we are. Player welfare. See, you're asking the wrong person. If Keon was here, he'd be telling us why they need to be rotated two games in. Well, I, you know, I looked at the West Brom fans last night, Simon, and they're there with full expectation that they might just do it. They might cause an upset if it was an upset against mm. an out-of-form Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, and put Arsenal out. And then they go and make 11 changes and were promptly thumped 6-0. Yeah, I mean, look... See, I, I think that does the fans a disservice, I must well, be honest. Well, I think it probably does, but it also highlights the difference. I mean, Arsenal were pretty much full, with strong strength, weren't they? And they were giving run-outs to the players that have been absent through, through they, COVID. They were at strong strength, as yeah. you rightly say. Yeah, sounds right. I know what I meant, but we'll get there. But look, the, the main headline is that Arsenal have got a result. West Bromwich Albion will look at this game and say, well, no, it's not fun for us to get beat 6-0. No, we didn't enjoy it. But really, does it change our season? Our season is focused on trying to get out of the championship, yeah. trying to get back into focus yeah, yeah. and trying yeah. to get up the table. Arsenal needed a win. Can you imagine the headlines? Can you imagine the pylon? Can you imagine you this morning if Arsenal had gotten beaten by West Bromwich Albion? Oh, I know. So we'd be, from we'd be appealing to Arsenal fans to come on. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. You know, and everybody yeah. would be, you know, Arteta's car would be surrounded again. Arsenal fan TV would go down into meltdown yeah. and we'd all be sitting there saying the end is nigh. Yeah. You know, you look at this and you say, look, goals are being scored. Unfortunately for West Bromwich Albion, they got to beat by six. But teams get beat. They get beat heavily and then, you know, and, and they go on to the next game and they move on from it and take very little from a beating like that but yeah. I think rotation is it's in, in part it's dicey. It's sensible it, it's dicey if you want to win the AFL Cup hmm. it's irrelevant if you don't but Steve Bruce has said cups are important we want to win one that is also now true now they're out of one that is also true but what it shows you is probably and Newcastle fans will have stronger views on this than me if you take Callum Wilson if you take Willock out and if you take some Maximin out they haven't got a lot yeah yeah yeah, I might be wrong, but, no, but I, creatively, I think that is that. And I think, I think if you look at the games they played, Villa they played two sides that are, that are arguably better than they are, and, and statistically better than they are. True. So West Ham finished sixth last year. Villa yeah. finished wherever they finished, tenth or eleventh, wherever they finished. And so you would expect them to be, and they've spent more money than Newcastle. And there becomes the argument because Ashley's hiding behind arbitration hearings and deflecting away from himself rather than buying players. Yeah. What do West Brom fans think this morning, though? 11 changes, uh, thump 6 0. Was this a, an opportunity lost last night? It could have been a, a much, much better occasion than it turned out for, for uh, the fans last night at the Hawthorns.